Hi. One of the requirements to sit for the advocate on record exam is training with an AOR who has at least 10 years standing. But how do you find such an AOR and secure this certificate, especially if you're not based in Delhi? Here is what you need to know about the training. It's not a full-time or intensive one-year internship or job. You do not need to relocate to Delhi or pause your district or high court practice. At Law Seco, we help lawyers develop strategies to connect with AORs remotely. Let's go through this reliable approach. Follow these steps to secure a commencement certificate. First, start reaching out to AORs early, even if you're in college or have under four years of experience. Second, build a relationship by offering to assist with research or drafting. Third, establish trust by connecting occasionally and offering help without asking for favors immediately. Fourth, refer clients from your state to the AOR if possible. AORs often need assistance because they get extremely busy. Here is why. Experienced AORs face high demand for their services and have limited time. They need reliable juniors for drafting, research, and preparation. You can become their go-to support, helping them handle workload overflow while gaining practical experience. If you're immediately interested in finding an AOR with 10 plus years or more of standing, use the list here. It has 3,041 AORs and is updated till 19th of December 2022. It also contains their name, address, registration number, mobile number, and email ID. The link to this list is right here in the description box of this video so that you can open it and check it out for yourself as well. Another list is here. That is an updated list of AORs in alphabetical order as of 19th of December 2022, but it does not have their enrollment date. Both these lists have the Delhi address of the AORs, even if they're based outside Delhi. So you can check out both the lists using the links attached in the description box of this video. We recommend that you do not restrict yourself to lawyers with 10 plus years standing exclusively, especially if you're an intern or a junior lawyer. Many of those junior AORs will know other AORs who have 10 years plus standing and will be happy to introduce or recommend you to such senior AORs. You can also find senior officials of the SCAORA and reach out to them, even meet them personally and ask them for help. What if you want to find an AOR in your city? This is also possible, although not necessary. Type advocate on record on LinkedIn and filter by location. You may come across some AORs near you. Remember, reaching out strategically to offer support builds rapport. Consider these steps. First, assist with drafting petitions like SLPs, transfer petitions and more. Provide research support on precedents and legal propositions. Offer social media and branding assistance if relevant. Building trust with AORs in this way makes it more likely they'll provide the commencement certificate that you need. Use this template to reach out to AORs for potential collaboration. You can write, I am a young lawyer practicing in this location and I am preparing for the AOR exam. I am familiar with Supreme Court drafting, practice and procedure. Assisting a successful Supreme Court litigator like you has been a dream for me. Could I help you with any of the following? Drafting petitions, SLP, transfer petitions, etc. Drafting applications for interim relief or miscellaneous applications. Conducting legal research for your cases. Assisting with articles or publications to build your professional profile. I just want an opportunity to help using my skills. Please let me know if we can discuss this further. Then once you get a yes, make sure to one, deliver high quality work to build your reputation. Two, keep refining your skills so that you are prepared when an AOR offers you more responsibilities. And three, request introductions from AORs after you have built trust. This can lead to more opportunities with senior AORs. 
law students can follow the same approach. You do not have to wait until graduation. Here is what to do. One, start early by interning with AORs or firms handling Supreme Court work. Build experience and secure testimonials through small assignments. Lay the groundwork for financial independence post-graduation by creating a network of references. Now that you know how to secure a commencement certificate, would you like to dive deeper? Join our free three-day live bootcamp where we'll walk you through the steps to qualify as an AOR, build Supreme Court practice skills and reach new levels in your legal career. Set a reminder, this is an opportunity you do not want to miss.